Hello and welcome to the Adam and Val YouTube channel. A little while ago on the community part of our YouTube channel page, Adam put up send in your questions. So this is basically a Q&A session which we couldn't film together because of various circumstances. We will be filming together again soon. I don't know how long, but it will be soon-ish. Um, Adam should be standing there, right next to me. That's through the magic of editing. So I don't know what answers he's given to the questions. Questions were sent in, they are written down there for us. Like I say, I don't know what he has said. He's probably done my legs or insulted me in some way, shape or form or another. I will answer the questions as best I can and we'll see what his responses are. The first question comes from regular contributor and commenter on the channel, Neil. He contacts us on Twitter as well when he sees that there's various new products come out. Thanks, Neil, for your question. And he basically says, what is your favourite film? It's a massive, massive open-ended question. For me, I always revert back to Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs is my favourite film, mainly because I've seen it more than any other. When it first came out and when it was out on video from Blockbuster, I used to get it every Friday night from my local video store and watch it loads. So for that reason, I know there's a million and one other great films out there, but Silence of the Lambs is nearly always my fallback number one film. Adam is a film guru. He's probably got 428 favourite films. And mark my words, they will all be good. If I'm not sure of a film, I'll send him a message and say, what do you think of this film? And if he gives it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, then I will go on his, on his viewing and his opinion because it's usually spot on. I don't think he's ever recommended a film and it's been rubbish. So from that point of view, he is the film guru. Really? My, my favourite film would probably be Rocky One. Rocky One, yeah. I think I'd put it down as Rocky One. Favourite film of all time. Second question comes from Andrew. Thanks for your question, Andrew. How did you two get so sexy? Yeah, well, thanks for the compliment. Um, I don't really think I'm that sexy. Do you? Yeah, thanks, Andrew, anyway. But... Um, it's nice to have the compliment, but I don't think I'm that sexy at all. The next question comes from Kyle. Kyle's put a two-parter question in. The first one is celebrity crush, and the second part of the question was your dream job growing up. Celebrity crush, for me, uh, Amelia Clark, always. Uh, she's my number one, but there's probably about 28 behind her anyway. Dream job growing up. I think when I was at school, I always wanted, I always wanted to sort of be a reporter, I always thought to myself, maybe I could be a journalist. And this is when I was 12, 13, something like that. Wasn't too sure what I wanted to do. Never really had any aspiration, but that sort of reporter journalist thing was always at the back of my mind. As I got a bit older and I started listening to talk radio stations, of which back then there was only about two, and now there's about 102, I think I wanted to get into some sort of broadcasting, bit of talk radio, or even just have a radio show, playing music or not. So I think that is where I would like to be now. Um, although I'm probably a bit too old for it. But who's, who knows? Who knows what might happen? But yeah, radio presenter in some way, shape or form. Celebrity crush. I'm 40 years old. You don't have crushes on people at 40 years old. And if you do, you got something wrong with you. Grow up. Dream job. Dream job growing up. The issue is, I didn't have a dream job. That's why I do jobs that I don't like. Big Rigger has the next question. Big Rigger. How, this is a three-part question. How long have you known each other? Are you related? And who has the most input on the channel? How long have we known each other? I think it's six years, maybe seven years. I don't know what Adam has said. I think it's six or seven years. He's probably said it's six or seven years too long. Um, it's around that sort of time, six or seven years. Um, are we related? No, we're not related. Does it look like we're related? Look. We're not related. But is that a compliment, a backhanded compliment? Adam might take that as an insult. I don't care if we're related, <laughs> but we're not. We're not related, no. Who has the most input on the channel? Well, we've always got this long-standing joke we've always done from the very beginning, uh, that it's Lennon and McCartney. Everything is 50-50. If one of us gets an idea, we run it past the other one, and 99 times out of 100, 
it will, we will both agree, yes, that's a really good idea. I can't remember any occasion where we've said, let's do this, and the other one said, no. But if we did, then we wouldn't go ahead. Usually what happens is that one of us will get an idea, tell the other one, and then the other one will sort of say, yes, we could do it, but what about if we did it this way and this way? And the other one will go, oh, yes. So it is a 50-50 input. However, what I will say is that Adam is the tech guru. He Last year, he showed me how to do editing. So I do my own editing now. And he is much better at editing, editing than me. He put this video together, so his editing skills are superb. And if I get stuck with something new I'm trying on the editing, rather than check YouTube out, I phone him up and he sends me a one minute tutorial, a few of which he has put on this channel. So his editing skills are superb. And I must note also that the songs that we do are 99.9% .9 all written by Adam. He writes most of the songs, he gets these ideas and he just it just flows out of him. I don't know where it comes from. And they're always good lyrics. They're always good lyrics. So hats off to him if I had my hat on. Thanks for writing all the songs. He does write all the songs. I know that a lot of our content is food reviews, but if you go way back, actually, that will come... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll move that on to the next question, actually. Well, I think Val's explained this one good enough. How long have we known each other? No idea. Hopefully he knew. Are we related? No, thank God, is the honest answer. Who has the most input on the channel? I have no idea what Val said. Um, we're doing these blind, these answers. Most input. What I would say, and I don't want to do a cop-out answer, I'm the most pushy, by far. I'm the most pushy. I'm very impatient. Very impatient. Extremely impatient. I want everything yesterday. So I'm very pushy. I'm constantly nagging Val. Val, when you do this, Val, let's do this. I have like, literally, I'm not winding you up. I ask Val, I have about 600 ideas a day. Constant ideas, constant, constant, constant ideas. My brain works funny. Constant ideas, so I'm churning out all these ideas. And sometimes I relay them to Val and he's thinking, here we go again. I'm sending him like 15, 20 minute voicemails. We never get around to doing these ideas. So going forward, I'm going to store these ideas, maybe on paper because I forget them. And then I will just carry out my ideas in my own time. But yeah, I'm very, I would say I'm the most uh, I'm the most pushy. But we both have the same amount of input. I would say um, we both have the same amount of content. I'm just very impatient. So the next question is from the friendly ghost. Thank you, friendly ghost, for submitting this question that I've linked in nicely to something I touched on in the last question. Why did we start YouTube? And why do we make the content we make? So years ago, we used to do a podcast as Two Random Sheets. It was quite a successful podcast before the days that the celebrities all joined in and everyone now does a podcast. We were back in the earlier days, we were doing pretty well with our podcast and we filmed the first 15 or 20 for YouTube as well as going on to SoundCloud. Hardly anybody really watched. But from that, we started doing vlogs. And then all of a sudden, I think if you, if you go into our YouTube channel, and go backwards and put the videos up in order by the oldest first. When you scroll down about 20, 25 videos in, Adam done a review of McVitie's Digestive Thins or something like that. And it was our biggest video to date at that point. And we realized there was something in doing food reviews, which it's naturally grew and grew and grew from there. So that is why we make the input that we make. It's, we realize that food reviews were getting good reviews. However, we do do other stuff. It's not just food reviews. Mainly it is, but you've seen, we've done two world tours of food. Yes, that's food related. And Adam with his sister-in-law, Shell, has been doing some spin-off episodes of food from around the world um, and funny tasting Japanese snacks. But we've also done a film, look through that, it's Do Not Use The Lift. No, that's the, the, the comedy series is Do Not Use The Lift. The film is called Under The Sheets. That's way, way back in the day when we were still doing the podcast. And we've also done two charity walks through the night. There are other videos on there that aren't just food related. Go through the archives, have a look at the older stuff as well. And there will be more of that stuff coming up in the next year because we want to try and get back into that. I know the last 18 months has been difficult with lockdown and stuff. So we've been mainly focusing on food reviews. However, we are looking to change that up. We're hoping to do Do Not Use A Lift Series 3, because there is, I think there's Series 1, and then Series 2 was a two-part Christmas special, which was like a prequel. Um, we're hoping to do Series 3, and there's a lot of other stuff as well that won't just be food-related. 
and also new food items we sort of branching away not just new food items but other food videos as well so that's why we make the content we do just purely and simply because in the early days the food reviews were getting the most views on the channel if that makes sense and we realized that there was something there so that is the main bread and butter of our, of our channel is, is food reviews but as i said there are a lot of other things on the channel you've just got to scroll through and look for it adam's done some brilliant folders on the channel that's a really long answer sorry sorry why did you start youtube um i started on another channel that i have it just was a bit of fun to be honest then i started getting into reviewing vaping products and that was extremely enjoyable um, and then i don't know if val said all this but then me and val obviously started a, a podcast and then we moved the podcast onto youtube and then we just started doing youtube videos that's that's pretty much it that was a really long answer wasn't it but thank you friendly ghost for your question uh, an in-depth question now from natalie thank you for your question at least you've submitted one favorite color I don't think I have one. I don't think I've got a favourite colour. Blue, green, purple, black. I like them all. Um, have you? How long does he take in to answer his favourite colour? Oh. Favourite colour. When I was growing oh. up, my favourite colour was always green. It was always green. I would always have a, a fondness towards green. No idea. That's why the other channel, I, I called it a green winch. People might think it's because it's obviously vaping, tobacco sort of related. That's why the name green come from. No, that was my favourite colour growing up was green. It's nowadays, like I said to the celebrity crush, I'm 40 years old. You do not have a favourite colour at 40 years old. If you do, there's something wrong with you. That's a favourite colour. We're finally at Pink. the last question you'll be glad to know. And this comes from Lisa. Who do you watch on YouTube? Which is a really, really good question because we are YouTubers. Are there things that we watch? I don't know how many other channels Adam subscribed to. I'm subscribed to us, obviously, so I watch us and I do, even though I film videos and edit videos, I watch my videos and obviously I watch Adam's videos as well. He hasn't watched one of my videos for about two and a half years, but that's fine. I don't mind, I don't take it personally. Who do I watch? I, I subscribe to very few because you can end up going down a wormhole. Um, I subscribe, there's a lady called Leah Shutkiva who's a competitive eater. I found her by mistake, but really enjoyed the content of her video. And one day I want to do a food eating challenge, but I'm not sure what, where and when, but one day we will do a food eating challenge. There's lots of competitive eating channels out there, but her one, I just found it and I did really, really enjoy it. Uh, the other person I follow is a lady called Jane's Goodies, which is just quick and simple cooking videos. And they are the main things that I watch is cooking videos. But I only subscribe to one, as I say, which is called Jane's Goodies. I also subscribe to Dartford Football Club because as I'm a season, I'm season ticket holder there. So obviously I want to keep up to date with the manager interviews and highlights of the games that I haven't been able to get to. Who do you watch on YouTube? Why? I mainly watch tech-related videos. I know I've, I've mentioned the other vaping channel. I don't watch any vaping channels. I watch the odd video, just because there's some people I like. I watch the, the very odd video about vaping. I like tech-related reviews. My favorite at the moment, my favorites, I like Mr. Who's the Boss, MKHD. You've obviously heard of them channels, really like them. I think Mr. Who's the Boss is just edging it. I, I'm really liking the content he's putting out at the moment. Unbox therapy, stuff like that, related, tech related. That's all the questions. If you've got any more questions, put them in the comments below. Contact us on Twitter, the link's below. Instagram, the link's below. Or email, I think there's an email address below. I think Adam's doing the outro, but I'm going to say thank you for watching. Thanks for your questions that you've submitted. All really, really good questions. Adam, I'm sorry if I waffled on too long or not long enough i don't know how long this video was meant to be i don't know i don't know what he's done but i'm sure it was good and thank you once again for submitting the questions well there was a couple of questions just asking me i think these people may have come from my vaping channel so i'll read them out so this one from tina tina says adam can you say a few words so she's put a few words on there for me to say i struggle with some words there's, there's no doubt about it, I struggle with some words. Tina's asked me to say fruit fusion. Am I saying that right? Fruit fusion. Fruit fusion. Fruit, fu fruit fusion. 
You see? She's got me. Fruit fusion. Fruit. I can't say it when I say it quick. If I, if I slow down and say it, fruit fusion. If I say it quick, that's when we get into trouble. Fruit fusion. And v vanilla. Vanilla, 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 vanilla. I also can't say millennium, aluminium. Oh, God, there's another question for me as well. Um, and this is from Available Plays. Do Vupu Drag X and V Mate pod reviews? So someone's asking me to do specific reviews on the vaping channel. Right, with the vaping channel, stuff gets sent to me and I'll review it. Um, I don't, so, so whatever turns up gets reviewed basically. So if them items there turn up, they will be reviewed. Thank you very much for that. I hope you like these question and answers from Adam and, and Val. He's there, I believe. Depends how well I edit this. You lot take care. For more question related videos, subscribe.